Welcome back. We'll now look at posting credit notes onto Sage. So we looked at invoices by clicking invoice, filling in the relevant details there. We'll now look at credit notes by simply clicking on the credit icon next to invoice. The same box will appear, but this time it will be in red. You edit your credit details. Um, so let's say the credit is for concept stationary supplies which we did the invoice for put the date in the credit note reference the nominal code which was 7504 the details so pens and paper. The amount for of the credit and it'll work out the VAT for you automatically. Click save and that credit note will be put on. We'll now look at other things on the supply record. So let's choose a a supplier who has a good amount on their account double click this box will appear we've talked about the details on the screen the defaults under credit control you can edit the credit limit the settlement terms if there is a settlement discount payment due days and also terms agreed if you click on purchases if you think back to previous videos we looked at company and we clicked on a nominal ledger and we got a list of amounts posted to a nominal code within the financial year this is the same table but this is purchases for a particular supplier so this is unique systems and this will show us how much we have purchased through invoices or credits we receive through credit notes on their account so it gives you an overview and once again on the graphs you can have a graph for them so let's find someone concept stationary supplies if we click on graphs you'll see we got amounts there here are invoices here are credits the buttons are the same for the graphs as well the nominal ledgers so if you want to go back to that video to review these buttons then please do so under activity, same as the nominal ledger once again on the nominal records under activity, but instead of having everything posted to that account under activity, we have everything posted to this supplier. So this is the supplier account under activity. So invoices, credit notes and payments we made to these suppliers are on this account. Your see this box says O slash S that's outstanding so anything in this box is outstanding so we have a, a purchase invoice and a credit note that's outstanding and nothing else there's this little box here that says outstanding only if you click that it will just show what's outstanding on the account now once that is clicked it will bring up all accounts as outstanding only so it sets that as default if you on ticket then it will bring everything up by default unticked um, so this sage saves this box is ticked or unticked depending on how you leave it under bank you can edit bank details and then you have memo where you can save notes on their account now you may not use memo on suppliers but you'll definitely use it on customer on the customer ledger the sales ledger and I'll go through that a bit later on um, how to use memo when we look at the customer module so that's all the tabs here we'll now look at some reports that you can Bring up on Sage with suppliers. Just before we do that, you now I've been showing you how to double click and then go to activity. You can also just use the activity icon here that will bring up this box. The same with the nominal ledger.
And I believe we looked at that. Just click activity and bring up the activity of that account. On the activity screen with suppliers, you can display the information by clicking on these boxes again. And we've already talked about that a number of times. And then down the bottom, it shows what's outstanding when. So we'll now look at some reports. If you make sure nothing is highlighted, and I'll tell you why a bit later on, make sure nothing's highlighted, click on letters. You'll then have a number of letter templates um, that you can print off Sage. Now, depending on what version of Sage you have, depends on how many may be in this box. There's only three in this box. This top one is address change. If we click preview, it will then bring up a template of an address change. that you can send to your suppliers. And if we scroll through, you see there's a letter for each supplier. So automatically it will bring up the address of the suppliers so you can post it to them. It will say dear to whoever the contact name is that you've put on that account. And then it will advise that supplier that your premises has changed. Now you can edit these letters to say what you like. And I have another course that is Sage Report Designer that comes um, as a free add-on to Sage products. And in Sage Report Designer, you can edit these reports so they display what you like. There's also, there's also transaction reports that you can print off. Have a look at them, you may use them. You'll find that there's loads of reports in Sage and I'll show you if we click on the reports icon, you know, we have folders upon folders of all different reports you can print off but the most important ones are in this folder here the age creditors report now what the age creditors report shows it's a gives you an overview of what's outstanding on supplier accounts um, when that money is due if it is overdue how far it is overdue by weeks months example if we click on summary first of all click preview or ask you what suppliers you want on the report. If you just leave it as blank, it will bring up everyone and it asks for a report date and we want it for today. Let's click OK. So I'm not sure how well this shows up on the video, but you have the account code to your left and hopefully if you're following with your own Sage, you'll be able to see this clearer on your own screen. So you have the account codes, the name of the supplier, their credit limits and what their balance is on their account and you have period one period two period three and I'll show you how to edit these periods and what these periods mean soon you also have an older column so this gives you a quick summary of amounts owed to suppliers so this might be printed off for a director for a check run or something like that if we then click on the details so age creditors analysis detailed we had the same report come up, but this time it doesn't just give you the balance in their account, it gives you what that balance consists of. So it'll show you every invoice that's outstanding for each supplier. Like so. So to show you what those periods mean on the age creditors analysis, if you click on settings at the top ribbon here, Go under Supplier Defaults, then click on Aging, click on Period Aging, it will show that age period 1 is 30 to 59 days, age period 2 is 60 to 89 days, age period 3 is 60 to 119 days, and age period 4, which is the older column, is 120 days plus. Now you can edit these to whatever you want, you may want 14 to 28 days and you can just change that by editing these boxes here and then clicking OK.